they're lying to us too. It's part of that too. And that plays into the trust part you just said. The trust part is not just a realization that, oh, we weren't thinking about this exponentially. It's, it's realizing that we're actually being lied to. Like for instance, let's just talk about interest rates for a second. Okay, so two people can create money in the world, governments and banks. So if we raise interest rates and the government issues debt, which is how they create currency, and they issue it at a higher interest rate, or are they forced to create more money or less money? More money, right? Okay, now let's think about the banks. And here's where people go wrong. They think about it from the side of the consumer. Listen, everybody wants to borrow money, but it doesn't matter if you walk into the bank and say, I want to borrow money. What matters is what the lender thinks. So we have to think of this from the lender side of things, not the consumer side of things. When interest rates go up, banks want to lend more. That's why credit is at all time highs right now, because as interest rates go up, the risk goes down. And look, the risk might not go down for Johnny who works for minimum wage, but for the for the family that owns where Johnny works, they're getting money out the wazoo because interest rates are up and they can get access to that money and they can afford to pay that interest rate. And the bank's happy to lend it because they're lending it at a higher rate. They're more profitable with less risk. So when the Fed sits there and the government tells you, we're going to fight inflation by raising interest rates. Wait a second. The math doesn't that's not how you fight inflation, because that's just going to create more inflation. It forces the government to print more money and it incentivizes the banks to expand more credit. They're lying to us, too.